Hello. In this screencast, I'll be talking about Monte Carlo methods and the Wang Landau algorithm, which is a method of obtaining the density of states for a particular system. My name is Aaron Klegger. I'm an undergraduate physics major at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute in Troy, New York. Most of the visuals and figures in this presentation come from programs I've written during an undergraduate research project in the fall of 2020. For those unfamiliar, Monte Carlo methods are a broad class of computational algorithms that obtain numerical results from a system by repeated random sampling. The most common tasks Monte Carlo methods are used for are optimization, numerical integration, and obtaining probability distributions. The first Monte Carlo method we'll be taking a look at is the Metropolis algorithm. This algorithm is performed by doing a random walk through configuration space. The most general form of the Metropolis algorithm applied to a thermodynamic system is included on this slide for reference. However, it may be a little easier to make sense of this by applying these steps to a particular system. A great system to pick is the Ising model. This system consists of a 2D lattice of discrete variables, where each is typically taken to represent the magnetic dipole moment of an atom. Each site has a spin value of plus one or minus one, and the energy of this system is given by this Hamiltonian, where sigma i and sigma j are the spins of the lattice sites i and j, and the sum of i over i and j runs over all of the, uh, the, the neighboring lattice sites. If we take the interaction term j to be positive, in other words, a ferromagnetic system, and then this implies that the more sites which have the same spin, the more the system energy would decrease. In this case, when all of the spins are the same, that being either all plus one or all minus one, the system is in its lowest possible energy configuration. In this model, we can keep things simple by only considering the nearest four neighbors to each site. If we apply our Metropolis algorithm to this system, we would do so by first choosing an initial random configuration of our lattice. Then we would choose a random site. And we would calculate the change in energy of the system if we were to flip the site's spin. Next, we'll generate a random number between 0 and 1. And if the random number is smaller than the Boltzmann factor, then we'd accept the change to the system. Otherwise, we would reject it. We repeat this process and collect any data we want on the system as we do it. For example, we could track the energy of the system or the magnetization, which would just be the sum of the spins of the lattice. This is a pretty straightforward and simple, but nevertheless, very powerful algorithm. The next algorithm we'll take a look at is the wang landau algorithm. And it carries out a random walk in energy space. The purpose of this algorithm is to obtain a density of states for the system as a function of energy. As I'll show in a moment, the density of states is a incredibly useful function and obtaining it often has great utility. For the wang landau algorithm, we will store two sets of data, the density of states for a set of energy configurations, which will denote G of E, and a histogram for the number of visitations to an energy, which will denote H of E. Initially, the density of states will be set to one for all energy, and we will use a modification factor F, which is typically set to initial value of E. Next, we'll choose a random site and flip it, accepting the change with probability with the probability function shown here. This probability function indicates that if the density of states for the energy given after the spin is flipped is less than or equal to the density of states for the energy of the system in the configuration prior to the spin flip, then the change is accepted. Otherwise, it's accepted with probability of G of E1 divided by G of E2, where E1 is the energy before and E2 is the energy after the spin is flipped. Next, we'll modify our density of states and update the histogram for the energy of, that the system is in. We continue until the histogram is mostly flat, then we decrease the modification factor and reset the histogram F, uh, to its initial value of zero. 
we repeat steps two through four until our modification factor is small. Since these numbers can get very large, it's typical to store them in a natural logarithm. Take the natural logarithm of the values that we store in g of e or h of e. As I mentioned before, the Wang-Landau algorithm gives us the density of states for a system. And we can use the density of states to obtain the partition function for a system, as shown here. Once we obtain the partition function, we can find many other thermodynamic functions of interest. For example, the Helmholtz function, or the internal energy, or entropy. After running the Wang-Landau algorithm on the Ising model, of course, depending on how, exam how exactly you implement it, the result should look something like this, where the top graph is the natural log of the density of states after repeated iteration of the algorithm, and the bottom is an example of the histogram at the end of some iteration. In the case of the results shown here, the density of states still needs to be adjusted in order to match the analytical solution for the density of states. All of the values are currently shifted, and we can fix this by matching the ground state value to that of the analytical one. Here we'll be leveraging the fact that the density of states for the ground state of our system is really easy to find. Since the ground state is when all of the spins are the same, that being all plus one or minus one, there's really only two different configurations it can be in. So here we'll just take the natural logarithm of two and match that to our first value. Another feature to notice is the dip right after the ground state and right before the highest energy. This state is clearly not being reached by our model. This is an artifact of the binning and the finite size of our model. Despite using boundary conditions that wrap around to mimic an infinite system, depending on how we do our binning, this still appears. We get this gap since the change in, change in energy from an, a homogeneous lattice to one with one spin flipped the other way is twice the smallest change in energy of that of any you know, non-homogeneous lattice. If we think of the system as having an energy density opposed to just an energy, and it was truly infinite, this, this gap would not appear. After fixing the ground state value to the analytical value, our density states comes to this which matches fairly well with the analytical result. An even simpler system we could perform this on is the 3D harmonic oscillator. The random walk aspect of this algorithm can be carried out by making small tweaks to the x, y, and z coordinates to change the position in an energy space. After running this algorithm a few times on the system, it converges to a function proportional to the square root of the energy. Now let's take a look at a fairly different system, the quantum mechanical particle in a box. Here we have an infinite potential well with fixed boundaries. Once again, we'll have to find a way to do a random walk in energy space in order to carry out the Wang-Landau algorithm on this system. We may do so by representing our wave function as a polynomial. In this case, we know the wave function is strictly real. We can set our polynomial to meet the boundary conditions of the box and vary or tweak our parameters ci in order, in order to carry out the random walk. In the visual to the right, this polynomial consists of two boundary terms and six terms which have varying parameters. After several runs on our system, our density states comes to this, 1 over square root e, or in logarithm, this is just negative ln root e, or proportional to negative ln root e. This shape is shown here, um, and as, as is expected, it cuts off abruptly at the ground state energy. As has been shown by the previous three examples, the Wang-Landau algorithm can be applied to obtain the density of states for many kinds of systems. The Wang-Landau algorithm is performed by carrying out a random walk 
an energy space. Once a function for the density of states of a system is obtained, the partition function and many other thermodynamic functions of interest are easily accessible.